Ryan, what's it like getting back on the field and back to work? You know, we're excited. Uh, the new year getting started, and uh, you know, it's nice to be back in my first year here at Bath. And uh, you know, it's it's an exciting moment for our for our kids to try to change the culture a little bit. And this is a very young team, only a handful of seniors, older this year than you were last year. What has that been like, kind of grooming young players to play high school football? Yeah, like you said, uh, we only have five seniors. Uh, we've got uh, 15 returning starters back. Um, we returned 12 of the 12 of those are sophomores and juniors to be. So uh, we're excited about the youth. Another year to, to get maybe older, um, but, but we're excited to have a lot of kids back. And this being your first year at Bath, you, you played receiver, you're an offensive-minded guy as well as the offensive coordinator here. What is your philosophy and what do you want your players to learn from you? You know, we're, uh, we're a spread offense. Um, you know, try to balance a little run attack as, as well as throwing the ball. We want to get the ball out quickly, um, use our quarterback strength and, and uh, athleticism to uh, maybe carry the ball a little bit as well as uh, he's got a strong arm. Um, we want to be able to, to stretch the team horizontally as well as vertically. And you also, you played receiver, so, you know, this wide receiver depth chart, of course, I know is probably very important to you, and a spread offense, they are key, especially to moving the ball, like you said, vertically down the field. What has it been like grooming those receivers? You know, we've got um, five kids in the mix right now, and we're trying to get a little bit, uh, some younger kids maybe mixed in there to try to add some depth, but we've got uh, a good mixture of, of some big, strong kids that we can throw the ball down the field to, as well as maybe some quicker kids to maybe get across the field and, and throw some balls out of the backfield uh, to our two running backs. Back, so. And you had mentioned about kind of changing the culture and establishing this new system. What have you done to help these guys kind of buy in to Bath Wildcat football? You know, when I got here and, and, and kind of started this process, we talked about maybe uh, returning to old Bath traditions. And, and when we started to think about that, a lot of these kids weren't even born when we were last in the playoffs. So it's not going back to maybe those old traditions, but maybe making the new winning traditions and building that. Um, but still tying in maybe some of the old school philosophies here at Bath and, and, and our rich traditions in the 90s and, and 80s and in, into 2000s so uh, you know we're really excited um, with with the kids to to maybe change that culture of you know winning each day and uh, um, building on that as, as we move forward and there's always a lot of games during the season, especially late in the season, that you look forward to. Rivalries, any you know matchups that you've circled on the schedule. You know we're uh, we're going to go into each week uh, trying to be one and zero. Uh, and our philosophy this uh, off season has been take care of ourselves first. You know coming off an zero and ten season, um, we, we really can't worry about who's next and, and where we're at. We got to take care of things right in front of us. Um, obviously, once we get through these scrimmages, obviously Allen East week one is is really important. Uh, we we zero and nineteen in the last uh, few games. And so, you know, winning week one is huge, uh, trying to build some confidence and moving forward. So one week at a time, we want to be 1-0 each week. Coach, good luck and thank you so much. And stay tuned for more team previews on the West Ohio Sportsnet.